Drive for the tie, no good. Rebound comes out to Hooley for the win. And Albany is going to the NCAA tournament for the third consecutive year. This is the best moment of my life. And I've done everything I've been through. This is my family and for my mom, that's special. Luckily, the ball dropped to me and I let it fly. And hey, when you got angels watching you, anything can happen. Peter Hooley made that shot, wow. three-pointer to send Albany to the tournament with a second to go. Welcome to Sports Center. Thanks for having me. It's a lot of fun. Take us through that shot, every moment of it. Uh, well, they missed a free throw, luckily, so we only needed a two, and uh, Ray took it to the rim, and somehow the ball tipped out to me at the top of the key, and uh, I let it fly. I hadn't had a great game, and then, as I said before, Angels tipped that in for me, so it's the uh, wow. best moment of my life. As the students uh, charged the court in celebration, we couldn't help but notice that you pointed up to the sky. What emotions were pouring through your body in the aftermath of the shot? Uh, especially the first, I mean, when it first goes in, you just can't help but celebrate with your team. And then within the first five seconds, I did just want to look up, just wanted to be on my own, almost just to try and talk to mom up there and say thank you for that. It's, uh, it's been tough. It's been, it's been a hard year, but uh, the way this team's played and the way they've supported me and and the family we've become, uh, that's really just a, a miracle ending and uh, it's something I'll remember forever. Wow. The angel being your mom who was diagnosed with cancer before you were supposed to even start at Albany. But you went through with your commitment and you've come, become part of their family. And then your mother passing away this year. What kind of influence did she have on your game? Oh, everything. Uh, she was the first person to message me after every game with what I've done wrong or how proud of uh, me she was. And... Uh, as you said, uh, before I came over, she was diagnosed and I told her I didn't want to come over anymore. And she, uh, she said, if you don't go over, I'm going to put you on the plane myself. This is your dream. You have to live this. Uh, if not for yourself, then for me. So uh, she always wanted her kids to succeed more than anything else. So uh, the amount of pride and uh, love she got from watching uh, me and my sister play, uh, I just have to keep flying now. Well, meantime, back in Australia, dad and twin sis are watching this drama unfold. It's the middle of the night in Australia. <laughs> When you finally were able to talk to them, and I'm, I'm sure it took a, a little while after the celebration and everything, what was said, what were you feeling during that conversation? Uh, I, I mean, I just feel love. I just feel like I love my family, and uh, I don't think I spoke to my sister for the first uh, few hours. All I could get was tears. So uh, Dad was talking for a bit. Dad just said how proud he was, and he said that uh, just uh, handling everything like Mum would and uh, just said how proud of me he was, and then he teared up a little bit. So uh, uh, I love my family. I think they were all watching it together, my whole extended family. So this is pretty special. I, I told Peter I wore his I wore Aussie green for Peter. <laughs> Very nice. <laughs> From just outside of Adelaide, Australia, such a long way, Adelaide to Albany. What's it been like for you being uh, so far away? I think that is the hardest part. I think being so far away uh, from home, you you just want to be beside everybody for the last four years. When when they have the little moments when they fall, you want to pick them back up. You want to try and be the rock as far as you can. Uh, but uh, I've tried to. I've still had, uh, my sister said she's, she's holding down the floor down and back at home. And uh, uh, to see all the success we've had over here as a team and stuff, I think that helps my family get through. And uh, I see them in, uh, a few times a year, and it's pretty special. As exciting as that win is, it's the deal in the tournament. You, you never get to celebrate any win for very long. <laughs> and now you're thinking, okay, let's get on to the, the field of 68. And in your first round game, what a test. You'll see Oklahoma, who is the three seed in, in the round of 64. That game is Friday in Columbus. What are your initial thoughts on that matchup? Uh, it's going to be a tough test for us. They're obviously a terrific program. They're the Big 12 Player of the Year. They've had a pretty uh, tough schedule this year. And, uh, I mean, we're going to get the best game plan possible from the coaches. And uh, as far as I see, our team hasn't stopped fighting through everything this year. So uh, I have no doubt that we're going to give it a best shot. And it's a, a massive chance for us. I know guys like Evan and Ray, who have dreamt of this as a kid, are, are going to really rel relish this moment. And <laughs> it's going to be fun stepping on the court Friday night. That's true. Growing up as a kid, did you follow the tournament? Uh, yeah, I did, actually. You did? Uh, yeah, okay. when, it, when it came on, uh, you can't help but try and get around it. Chris, I asked him uh, when I first met him, how many times did you practice this in the driveway or the park? And your, your response was great. What did you say? I mean, I'm living on a farm, so I was just out in the backyard with a hoop and then some grass. So it's, uh, it's a lot different than normal. And you, tr you went through that shot more than once as a kid, didn't you? Oh, yeah. That's what you dream of as a kid, I think. Counting it yeah. down, last second, down by, yeah. And in the championship game, you never expect it. Yeah. A grass court. I mean, I can appreciate that. As <laughs> Absolutely. For tennis, maybe. But uh, that's something else. You have a, a tattoo? I do. Honoring your mother? Yes, can I see uh, it? you can. So right there. Uh, she used to always tell us to keep flying. 
uh, no matter what, just make sure you keep flying. So I had this plan for a while and uh, I got it last week. And uh, just a, just can a spot. Can you hold that up so we can get a shot of it? Yeah, there, it's just a spot so, I, and then the so date. I can uh, keep every time I need to look down at it. Uh, it's right there on my wrist and wow. in the games and stuff. It's, uh, it's something that will help me. That's for sure. It's a and nice reminder. It is, and it's uh, something that's obviously going to stab me forever, and I couldn't be happy to have it. Well, congratulations. Yeah. Thank you very Mom's much. Mom's watching, and she's proud. Absolutely. She's that proud. Every bit. Jay Williams. Oh, Jay's coming I just coming want to in. say meow, 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 right? You had a bet with your teammates, so you couldn't you say meow in sports, and I heard about I it. I say it four times, meow, meow, meow. Thank you. Appreciate it. Wait, 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 wait. What is that about? What's the bet? Get over here, Jay. What are you talking about? My best mate, Sam, my roommate said, if you can get meow in the segment four times, then he'll give me some cash. Wait, now, how did Jay know? Did you tell him in the green room? I just found out from a friend. That's all I lifeline. So you win the bet. I win the bet. How much cash? I don't know. Probably, uh, maybe you'll buy me some dinner. All That's right. great. Good deal. Great I'm deal. glad we could help. <laughs> Appreciate it. Thank you. What Good else luck. do we need to say? We'll help Peter win some money. That's exactly right. Yeah. Right. What do you want me to say? <laughs> hey, a good luck Friday uh, in Columbus. And uh, we'll be watching. We're pulling for you. Good luck. Appreciate it. Thank you yeah. for having me. Best of luck.